Hey guys, Sarah Herring here for the 888 Poker Live in London Festival, and it seems like every time I'm at a poker event, people are discussing cryptocurrency market. Now, if there are occasional times that you too want to jump into the conversation, but you don't want to ask that ugly question, what the fuck are they talking about? I've got you guys covered. Here are the eight most important words that you need to know in the crypto game. Number one is an acronym, HODL. This one is actually going to get a video all of its own. For the purposes of this video though, what you're gonna need to know is that it stands for hold on for dear life. J. Christopher Giancarlo explains its meaning pretty clearly in this US Senate committee hearing on banking. What we hear a lot of is people buying and holding. If you, if you go on to the Twitter universe, you'll see a phrase H-O-D-L, which means hold on for dear life. And the, the thinking is, is that they buy it and hold it. In fact, I, I mentioned in my opening remarks, my 30-year-old niece who bought Bitcoin years ago, and she's an H-O-D-L. She says, I'm going to own it. I don't know what's going to come of it, but I want to hang on to it. And she's, she's not a fraudster or a manipulator. She's just a kid and, and, and believes in it. And, and I was fascinated talking to her. And I think she represents a lot of folks that think there's something in this. I want to hold on to it. Number two, also an acronym, FUD. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Generally, FUD is a disinformation strategy used as propaganda to lower the prices so that large-scale investors can scoop up more of the market share. Number three, speaking of large-scale investors, we commonly refer to those as whales. In fact, this translates perfectly to poker lingo as well. Suffice it to say that whales are big buyers. Number four, market cap. Market capitalization is a well-known metric for traditional securities, but it has a unique implication in the crypto space. In the stock market, it's defined as the value of a company that is traded on the stock market, calculated by multiplying the total number of shares by the present share price. Now, when it comes to cryptocurrency, the shares are the coins or the tokens, and the company is the platform asset or currency. So to give you a real life example, if Bitcoin is worth $8,474 a coin, and there are roughly 17 million in supply, the market cap is about 143 million. I'll also cover the implications of this in another video, but market cap can sometimes be a little bit misleading in understanding the value of a coin in the crypto space. Five, I may have gotten a little ahead of myself as I mentioned coins or tokens in the definition of a market cap, but now you have all probably heard the term ICO thrown around. ICO is an initial coin offering. In its most basic form, this is essentially crowdfunding. Initial investors provide funding and then receive tokens, which then become currency when the project is launched. Number six, cold storage. And this is one of the most important concepts to understand and to utilize if you're new in the crypto world. This is storing your crypto offline on either a paper or a hardware wallet. I'll, I'll create a whole separate video on this also, explaining how to do this so that you can protect yourself and your assets. Number seven, blockchain. The blockchain is a public database that can be viewed by anyone. It's a list of records called blocks that are connected and secured with cryptography. Each block contains a cryptographic hash of the last block and must be verified in a peer-to-peer -peer network. Once recorded, the data cannot be changed and there's a hilarious Seth Meyers skit to get the facts. Transactions take place through the use of cryptography and are verified by network nodes and recorded in an immutable public distributed ledger called a blockchain. What could be simpler than that? Nothing, it sounds great. Right, so is it like investing in stocks? Kind of, but not at all. Lastly, number eight, mining. This peer-to-peer -peer network is made up of miners who are basically using computer power to solve really complicated math problems and by doing so, they're confirming transactions. For doing this, the miners are given a small reward, usually in coins, for what is essentially just doing some accounting. Now, 
I've been getting super into crypto, but there's so much more to share, so much more to learn, and so much more to talk about. Hopefully that gets you started engaging at the tables like a crypto boss. I gotta get back to the tournament floor, but let me know if you're into these top eight videos and definitely hit the like, subscribe, but most importantly, you wanna hit that bell button so that you get notified whenever we make a new video. I'm Sarah Herring, thank you guys so much.